Happy morning. Today's reading vlog is going to be a Gabby Reed made me read it. Ooh, so I was watching her video on her favorite thrillers, like all time favorite thrillers, and this was one of them Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. It, mine's actually a book of the month. So when I saw that she read it and loved it and said that it was like one of I'm pretty sure that this is one that she said had one of the best like twists at the end. So when I saw that I said I need to read that and I looked and I did I picked it for one of my books of the month. Let's see what month it was for. It was for September. So actually I think that was last month right? Yeah. Well, I'm excited to start this. It's a pretty short one, but Nick has the weekend off, so I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done. Today is Friday, starting off the day, I'm making my coffee. I'm also reading um, on my Kindle, My Heart is a Chainsaw. Loving it, absolutely loving it. Kind of wish that... I was doing a reading vlog on it, but I'm not. So I'll just, if I read any more while I'm reading this, I'll give you an update on that one as well. Oh look, they match, kind of, almost, not really. All right, I will talk to you guys when I have started reading. We went to Costco and Home Depot and we got this cute mat. I literally, before we watched it to Costco, said I want to get a cute little mat for out front for like the winter season. So we got that. We got snacks. We got dishes. Uh, the gallon size Ziploc bags because I feel like we constantly run out of these. So for dusters, these are cute little Starbucks cups with um, instant, some kind of instant coffee and little store stirs and such. And I thought that was adorable for the two maintenance men that we have here that we've absolutely loved. Kirkland brand cold brew coffee. You just keep in the fridge. Awesome. Forks because Oreos food needs to be mushed and I just really dislike using our regular forks. And we also got a nice advent calendar for me and Nick because we already got Oreos. So I read the first chapter and like a half of this book so far. And as always, I didn't read the synopsis so I don't know what it's about going in. But here's what I have so far. We have our two main characters, Amelia and Adam. And they have been married for quite some time and are going on a like marriage saving weekend away and we just found out that she won it from her work raffle she works with dogs and he is a screenwriter i believe that's what he is he finds books and adapts them into movies and all that so pretty interesting so far he also has a disease, I actually should look up the name of, name of it, where he cannot recognize people's facial features. So it is called prosopagnosia, prosopagnosia, something like that. Not very good at pronunciation, sorry. 
but he, I feel like that's going to be something that comes up within the book because that's something interesting and different. Um, but yeah, they took their dog and they are going away for a little weekend getaway to a chapel that was renovated into what I think is bread and, bed and breakfast. I will get back to you after I read some more and let you know what I think you should know. I feel like a lot of these thrillers you should go in knowing nothing personally. I just wanted to give a little credit before I get too far into the book and you know because I'm going to show a page. This is so cute right? The little doggy is under Amelia's chapters because she loves doggies. And then under Adam's chapters there's a little typewriter because he loves writing. <laughs> How cute is that? I will not put this in if it is a spoiler, but we just found another um, point of view. Rock. And there's a ring. I'm just covering everything it says. There's a ring. Interesting. I am on page 83 of Rock, Paper, Scissors. And I'm really enjoying it. It's starting to get super creepy which is really fun and exactly what I wanted. I also noticed that after every couple of chapters, which are super short by the way, love that in thrillers or mysteries or horror books, there is letters that Amelia wrote to Adam every anniversary. So she hasn't given them to him but we're learning how their marriage unfolds. And I believe we're gonna learn how their marriage got to the point where, you know, they're trying to save it by going away for the weekend. And I think that's pretty interesting and I am definitely intrigued. Today, I'm going to my mom's, so I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done. But I also wanted to just do a little side note because I said that I was reading My Heart is a Chainsaw and I'm still reading that too. I read a little bit. Like when I wake up in the middle of the night, I read my Kindle because, you know, it won't wake anybody up and stuff. So I am 20% of the way through My Heart is a Chainsaw and I'm really, really, really enjoying that. If you know me, you know that I am a big fan of 80s slasher films. I absolutely love them and this is just giving me all of the slasher film vibes so I'm really enjoying that book too I probably won't finish it while I finish this one so maybe I will just give my updates for that along the way when I am you know filming other book things or maybe I'll just like do one whole video with my thoughts on it but I'm not really good at that stuff because I ramble like I am now. So I'm gonna go. I just made my coffee. I did the coffees that I got yesterday at Costco. I like the Kirkland cold brew cans. They're so awesome. But I'm gonna drink that, read some more, and because we're just like lounging into the morning and then my mom's gonna pick me up at some point today. And I don't know what I'm gonna do there, but I'll talk to you guys. We did a mini food shopping. I got some seven grain bread. I got some pasta because I got pasta sauce and forgot to get pasta, which defeats the whole purpose. We have garlic bread for lunch today and his mom's jalapeno pretzel pieces for him. Peanut butter filled pretzel pieces for me. What else we got in here? Buffalo chicken. Some sandwich pickles. I needed some tartar sauce. And mayo. Got light mayo. And then some more pasta. And sushi for breakfast because I've been craving sushi. It's Monday. I am on page 189 of Rock, Paper, Scissors. This book is really good. Um, I'm reading it slowly because I just haven't been in the mood to read. If you hear the background noise, my husband's playing um, 
video game or something. So, oh, my hair is cute. It's pouring out, and I just took him out. Him, not my husband. <laughs> yeah, he just came home from daycare today. He's safe for the weekend. So, that was nice. But yeah, this book is super good. I'm really loving the chapters that are uh, the wife writing the husband letters. It just really opens up everything that happened in their marriage every year, like all the main points, um, things that are on her mind. It's super interesting. I love that they're both unreliable narrators. That's just making it so interesting because you don't know what it seems like each of them has some kind of plan but like we don't know what the plan is we don't know what the plan consists of but i'm definitely still intrigued maybe i'll finish it tonight because i think i have like 100 pages left or so um if not i'll finish it in the morning and let you know my thoughts happy morning i finished rock paper scissors by alice feeney last night and i'm giving it a solid five stars that twist was one of dare i say one of the best i have ever read it was a solid four stars whole time towards the end 4.5 the end five solid five stars i am so happy that i read this book oh yes loved it if you like um I would say it is like, what do you call slow burn, but for like a thriller? That's what it is. It's like a lot of build up, build up, build up for something totally worth it. So if you like a psychological thriller, more psychological, definitely pick this one up. Sorry, just making sure Oreo's not eating anything. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad. Then I read this one, and I will talk to you guys in the next.